That sucks. Hey, look, the mail came. Open in case of emergency. Hmm, whatever. Ooh, hot girl's calling. Hello? Hey, what are you doing? Oh, nothing much, just driving around you. Nothing. Hey, listen, me and my friends are going to write some more like ASAP. Uh, I'm a little busy right now. But time is money and I have neither. I'm also going to need to borrow your credit card and make sure your card's clean. She just hang up on me? Oh, man. What am I going to do? My car is super dirty right now. I'm super far from home. Don't have all my cleaning supplies. I don't know where a car wash is around here, at least a reliable one. I don't know how I'm going to clean my car right now. Man, look at this. We got bird poop. The car's been rained on for about a week. The car hasn't been washed for about a week and a half. We got bugs bug juice all over the car, the wheels are super dirty. This is at least going to take me about one to two hours to clean. What am I going to do? We got microfiber towels, orange blue wash soap and the one and only ammo aerator just got to put the nozzle on and the user manual all right, so it's recommended to put three capfuls of the frothy into 20 ounces of water. So we're gonna do that real quick. Luckily, I'm always prepared for Z Day and I always carry around a gallon of water with me and we're gonna use this as our water to put into the froth, I mean the uh, ammo aerator. We now have 20 ounces of water in the aerator. And Hey, what's going on guys? I hope you enjoyed that little skit about the frothy. I know it was a little bit cheesy, but whatever. I just had a little bit of fun making the video using it. So let's talk about out-of-the-box impressions. The microfiber towels, the blue and the orange ones, which are right behind me, appear to be of really good quality. I know these are the ones that are featured in the ammo videos, and they work really well. And so long as you separate the orange microfiber towel into quadrants, you can make one go a very long way. The frothy soap is housed in this nice black bottle and smells really good. So I'm holding the aerator in my hand right now and the quality or the construction of the mold appears to be really nice. 
Uh, the design is set up really cool. The pumping mechanism is really nice as well. The trigger um, works really nice also. So that's cool. Now the only drawback that I saw, and it's already been mentioned in the ammo video that was made for the aerator, is that the uh, it's not really a drawback, but just be aware that when you get the aerator, don't go out and use it. First, measure out 20 and 40 ounces or um, whatever amounts you're going to using because as you can see on the bottle, I'll show you right now, as you can see on the bottle, the, let me try to let the camera focus, I think it's focused there, you can see that 20 ounces and 40 ounces isn't marked on the bottle. So you'll first have to determine where those marks lie on the bottle yourself first and then go from there so that way you can use the proper amount of water as well as the proper amount of soap to get the best results using the aerator. Spraying with the aerator and wiping up the frothy soap with the microfiber towel was really cool because you could literally feel a barrier being placed between the towel and the paint as the towel felt to just glide across the surface of the car. And so long as you keep the aerator fully pumped you get a nice consistent spray. So what is the reality of the aerator? Keep in mind that this point of view is from a consumer and not a detailer's point of view. By no means am I a detailer. I am a consumer. I spent my own money on this product. It wasn't free or anything like that. So I'm going to give my honest opinion on it. Let's get one thing straight. The aerator is not going to replace your traditional car wash with a pressurized hose and multiple buckets and mitts and anything like that. The aerator is not sufficient to replace car washes like that alone. However, it can still be a very, very useful tool, and here is why I think it would be useful. I think that the aerator is going to be a tool that will sit amongst all the other detailing supplies that you have, and how you use the aerator is what's so cool about it, because from what I've learned using it is that the aerator is extremely versatile. It can be mobile, so you can take it with you wherever you want. Take a traditional car wash, for example. You use a hose, you use your buckets, you use wash mitts, you use soap. You use a lot of products with a traditional car wash, but all those products that you use are intended to get the best wash that you possibly can. It's not practical to take all those car wash products wherever you go. So this is where I think the aerator comes into play. You can literally take the aerator with you wherever you go because it's such a small product that you can store very easily and you can wash your car wherever and basically at whatever time you want because you can pull it out whenever you want and just wash the car. I also think the ammo aerator is more environmentally friendly and the reason I think that is because let's say the area that you live in is in a drought period or has certain water restrictions at the current time. I think it's more environmentally friendly because with the hose you're wasting a lot of water by washing your car but with the ammo aerator all you have to do is measure out 20 ounces or 40 ounces or however much you need and then you wash your car with that and it's just more environmentally friendly in general because you're also saving a lot of water in the process of washing your car. However, if you get an aerator, I think that it will still change the way you wash your car. And The reason I say that is because, let's say you traditionally wash your car uh, every week or every two weeks or whatever you do. And let's just say sometimes, you know, we all get busy and we can't always keep up with our car because it takes a lot of time to wash it. The aerator is super useful for those in-between washes that don't require the whole nine yards. So for example, let's say your car, you know, is dirty, it's got some dust on it from daily driving, hasn't really rained much, but it, it could use a cleaning. You could just bust out the aerator instead of busting out all your detailing products and clean the car much more efficiently using the aerator. Bottom line, is spending over a hundred dollars for the ammo aerator as well as the frothy soap worth it? I think the short answer is yes and the reason I say that is because the aerator paired with the frothy soap is an extremely useful tool and it's extremely useful because you can literally do so many things with it. You can think of you know a bunch of ways to use it in between car washes you know cleaning your door jams, cleaning your wheels it, it's extremely versatile like I said already and the way you use it is totally up to you. The way I use it can be completely different from the way you use it. And that's what's so cool about it, is that it has that customizability 
to be suited to one's needs. Anyways, if you liked that video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button. Comment down below if you have any questions or if you want to give your own input on the ammo aerator and frothy soap if you purchase one yourself. If you're debating on buying one, there is no debate. Just get it because I guarantee you, you will like this product. Make sure to subscribe to stay up to date with the channel for future installs and reviews as well as other modifications that will be done on the EcoBoost Mustang. Thanks for watching and as always, I'm Steven out here hanging out having fun. See you in the next video.